Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Welcome to your February, the month ahead reading, but we're also tapping into love, what you need to understand about your love and about your relationships, okay? First thing that is already coming up right now is that you Scorpios need to learn how to let go. You need to learn how to let go, learn how to surrender. Scorpios are super spiritual, right? And you're you're deeply, heavily into the unseen realm and the mysteries and things like that. But as you're looking at your own inner darkness, there are some things within that that must be surrendered in order for you to manifest the love, the life, the light that you desire, right? Some of you Scorpios can spend too much time reveling in your darkness, and this can make you feel anxious, depressed, right? Like uh, there could be a struggle for you to bounce back because you're focusing on um, your inner darkness and what needs to be let go of and what needs to change. So Spirit is saying um, with this energy for this month of February, focus on what you still have. Focus on the gifts of your life. Look into the light. Look at what the darkness has birthed, right? Look at what is coming from your darkness rather than just sitting in it, right? Because there's always light at the end of the tunnel. Hmm. First card we got is the queen of pentacles, the queen of pentacles for you Scorpios. Listen, this is abundance, right? This is that divine feminine energy coming through and thriving and tapping in. Some of you um, ladies, ladies in this month of February, and in this season of love, right? You want to look for the abundance. You want to look for the fortune. You want to look for, you know, the positivity that is coming through in your life. That goes back to what I was just saying about not reveling in the darkness, right? We're not reveling in the darkness. We're looking for the light. And for a lot of you, um, some of the challenges that you face in your relationships are um, abundant if you are willing to move on and move forward, right? So some of you Scorpios, uh, there's a fear of letting go of some old relationships. There's a fear of letting go some of the things that you know are no longer working out. But spirit is like when you do and you really care for yourself and you nurture yourself and you love on yourself, right? That's what this is talking about, okay? The provisions that you need, right? The abundance that you need is going to come through, but you got to be willing to move, Scorpios, in this month of February. You got to be willing to move, okay? You got to be willing to let go. You got to be willing to shift, right? In order for uh, the provisions to actually come through for you. For some of you, Scorpios, your love language is gifts and uh, acts of service. And so be open to that. Don't be so, oh God, this is good because our love languages are built off of what we did or did not receive as children. And so some of you may not have received uh, the finances, the gifts, the reciprocity as you were growing up as a child, the spirit is saying, now is the time where you could receive that. So don't close yourself off from being provided for, loved on and nourished in a divine, healthy, sacred way because you never experienced that as a child. Because in reality, that is something that you deeply, deeply desire, Scorpio. And so there are people coming into your life who seek to give that to you, who seek to provide that for you, but you have to be open to it. Like, don't block your blessings, okay? Don't block your blessings by not wanting to move on from your past, by not wanting to let go of what no longer serves you. You are just delaying the gifts that the divine has in store for you, okay? So you want to be looking for the light at the end of the tunnel. You want to look for the gifts that dwell within your darkness, and you want to start to be more receptive, Scorpios, right? Because there's love available for you. There's abundance available for you, but you have to get in alignment. You have to get into internal alignment and stop resisting the change this month, okay? Stop resisting the change. Let's see what else comes out for the Scorpios for this love energy. Hmm. For this month of February. Let's see what else. Don't mind my little 
roller back there. This curl didn't curl, so this had to put the roller back in. All right, let's keep going. Hmm, all right, spirit. What's going to do? Okay, part with Scorpios. Wow. Okay, you got true love, true love. You know what, Scorpios? What I'm feeling is that you are finally discovering what true love really means for you. Because you are so deep, because you are so mysterious, because you understand like the shadow world and those subconscious things, a lot of times you, um, you can kind of see beyond what is what is the appearance, right? You can see beyond what is showing up on the surface, which is great because right now in this February energy, you're able to see the truth. You're able to see what true love really is. You're able to see what your true love really is, right? That goes back to what I was just saying about those love languages. You get to really see and understand what is it that you actually desire that is from your heart and not from a place of trauma. Um, because you have this deep connection to the subconscious, because you have this deep connection to the unknown and spirituality, uh, for some of you, this energy could, could make you feel stuck or like you can't move or like you can't get beyond it. But Spirit is saying right now, if you recognize the patterns, OK, if you recognize your own patterns, what what habits do you find yourself in within relationships? What uh, what things consistently show up over and over and over again? Right. Like What triggers consistently present themselves to you? This is your spiritual work. Right. And that is what you as a Scorpio are able to look at just based off of who you are energetically, whether this is your sun, moon or rising or Venus sign. As Scorpios, you're able to understand the depths and the, intri the intricacies of who we are uh, psychologically, right? So when you understand that and you go beyond that, this is when you find the true love that is actually for you, not your trauma response love, right? You got to get out of connecting with certain people because it's like a trauma bond or a karmic relationship. Spirit is saying, if you are really ready to move on from your past, if you're really ready to look at the light at the end of the tunnel, a lot of you women are going to be manifesting partners who are providers, partners who are nurturing. A lot of you brothers who are Scorpios, you're going to be manifesting a woman who, who is understanding, who wants to nurture, who wants to love, who wants to be what it is you need to be in order for you to feel safe, but you have to recognize those relationship patterns because that's what dwells in the subconscious mind for you. Um, a lot of you in this month of February need to spend some quality time with family, with friends, and the people that you love, right? Because you're going to get a lot of answers from that, right? If you're dating somebody right now, just spend quality time. Don't have no major expectations about uh, the good that is to come or the bad that is to come, just sit in it, right? Just sit with it, spend quality time so that you can really get an understanding of a person. Now, because you are a Scorpio and you have this this, uh, this, this gift of understanding the subconscious and the unconscious mind, be careful not to be psychoanalyzing people, okay? Because sometimes some of you Scorpios are doing that too much and the person who you're talking to, they don't want to be psychoanalyzed, right? They are not uh, in a space where they want you reading their mind. So yes, you have that gift, Scorpios, but it does not mean that you're meant to use it all the time because it can be a violation of privacy. It can be a violation of privacy. When a person you are in a relationship is ready, it, you are in a relationship with is ready to open up in that way, they'll let you in. You don't have to, you know, pry into the depths in the darkness and the and the watery energies of their minds. Like you don't have to do that. Just be present, spend quality time, listen. Most importantly, this is about listening to yourself. What are your patterns? What are your uh, consistencies? What are your triggers? What are the things that consistently show up in your life? That is what you need to. And that's so good because we got keep an open mind. Keep an open mind. That's what I'm talking about. Some of you Scorpios, you be uh, psychoanalyzing people and you are automatically closing yourself off to the potential of this person because you've, you've just read them like a book. 
But what you also have to understand that a lot of times you're projecting. So you are taking those relationship patterns, right? You're taking what you've seen in the past and you're projecting it onto another person. And, and sometimes you may be right, but sometimes you may be wrong. Sometimes it is your own trauma that you are reflecting on another person. So understand that the, the, the potential prospects and the relationships that you're building right now, your perspectives may be different. Your minds may be different, but there can be an alignment that is divine and that is sacred, but you have to allow for it to happen. Look for the light. That goes back to the very beginning. Look for the light. Stop looking for the darkness within a person. Just because you're able to perceive it, just because you're able to manage it and understand it, doesn't mean that you need to revel in that, okay? Look for the light within a person. Another card that came out for you, Scorpios, is calling in your soulmate. And so, like I said, a lot of you are actually manifesting that divine partnership. A lot of you are actually manifesting that person who is right for you and who is able to fulfill uh, the love language that you need and that you desire. So in this month of February, speak some words of power around it. Speak your affirmations, visualize it. These are the things that help you to bring that energy into your space because it's already present. So when you're speaking your affirmations, when you're saying your prayers, when you're visualizing it, this is just you internally aligning with the energy, right? And then I got a song for you, Scorpios. Go listen to the song Cleo Soul Gold, okay? Cleo Soul Gold. I believe that your love is gold. That's how it goes. I receive that your love is gold. Go check out that song, Cleo Soul Gold. I think it's going to really resonate with a lot of you. Let me know in the comments if you listen to it, because once you do, you're going to feel the energy of this reading even deeper. Peace.